In the dark web of international espionage, few cases have gripped the world's attention quite like the chilling assassination of Alexander Litvinenko. The former Russian intelligence officer, known for his scathing critique of the Russian government, succumbed in November 2006 to a fatal dose of polonium-210, a rare and highly radioactive isotope. The onset of Litvinenko's illness was abrupt. Admitted to a London hospital, his condition quickly deteriorated. What followed was a thorough investigation by British authorities, who unearthed the shocking details of his poisoning. In a meeting at a London hotel with former KGB officers Andrei Lugovoy and Dmitry Kovtun, Litvinenko had unknowingly ingested polonium-210, cleverly concealed in his tea. This highly radioactive substance, known for its high toxicity and the difficulty in detecting it, emits alpha particles that can be incredibly damaging when ingested or inhaled. As the investigation progressed, Lugovoy and Kovtun quickly emerged as prime suspects. However, in a deathbed statement that sent shockwaves around the world, Litvinenko accused none other than Russian President Vladimir Putin of orchestrating his poisoning, a claim fervently denied by the Russian government. The implications of this case reverberated far beyond this tragic death, straining diplomatic relations between the United Kingdom and Russia. When the UK sought Lugovoy and Kovtun's extradition, Russia cited its constitution which prohibits the extradition of its citizens and refuse to comply. A decade after Litvinenko's death, in 2016, a public inquiry led by Sir Robert Owen concluded. The findings were damning. There was a strong probability that the Russian state was involved in the assassination, with Lugovoy and Kovtun likely acting under the direction of the Russian security services. The Alexander Litvinenko case serves as a stark reminder of the dangers inherent in the world of international espionage. It highlights the potential for radioactive materials to be used as assassination tools and underscores the immense challenges in investigating and prosecuting crimes involving state-sponsored actors and complex international relations. This case, steeped in intrigue and controversy, continues to resonate on the world stage.